Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn one of the amazing formula of Excel that is offset. So without delay, let's begin. So here first we will understand what is offset formula and what are the parameters. So you can see here I have written the formula. It takes five parameters. First is reference, then rows, columns, and then height and width. Here if I talk about this reference, so this is our initial reference. This is rows and columns. So once we will provide all these three, then it will be your final reference. I'm representing here as FR. This is the final reference. If I talk about height and width, so this would be height from the final reference. And if I talk about width, so it would be from the final reference. Okay. So why we are going to use offset formula? If we have to navigate to a particular address or a particular range, let's suppose this is our initial reference and we have to move to this address. So how to do that? Here I am filling the data that is 25 and here 20. Now we have to move from 25 to 20 then how we can move using offset formula let's do that is equal to offset now here first we will pass initial reference here you can see i have mentioned initial reference so it is c7 comma rows so how many rows we have to move down so we have to move one two three four four rows down and we have to move one two columns okay so we have to go four rows down and two columns and height would be one and width also one comma close the bracket hit now you can see this is focusing e11 if we change data here it will be automatically reflected here i am writing here 26 now you can see it is automatically reflected here okay so i'm clearing this now i'll give you a few more examples that uh, how to move forward backward and uh, for a particular range okay so here i am creating a data is equal to rand between minimum is 10 maximum 100 control enter so this is our suppose a data so just copy it right click and paste value so data should not change okay so this is our data suppose 64 this is our initial reference now from here we will move forward backward and downward okay so let's do that for example suppose we have to locate 21 that is c8 okay i'm just filling it by any different color okay now how to do that is equal to offset initial reference would be this cell d5 comma rows we have to go down one two three so i'll put three comma columns so we have to go backward then we will pass minus one comma height we can give one because we have to reference only one cell and width also one close the bracket hit the enter so you can see it has referred this cell c8 now we will take another example in that we are going to locate this one 32 so i'll fill it with the different color suppose this so here i will write the formula is equal to offset initial reference would be same comma rows we have to go downward one two three four five okay so i'll write five here then columns we have to move this is the zeroth column the same this would be one and this is second so we have to go to second column comma height is one width is also close the bracket at the end so this is focusing this one okay now I'll give you another example in that we will be targeting a particular range. Okay. So let's suppose we have to target this range. Okay. Now here I'll be printing this range. So we'll use the formula is equal to offset reference. Here I am using the same reference 64 comma. Now we have to come downward. So here from this row we have to select. So row would be one. Also column would be this is the zeroth column and e would be column number one now we have to give the height so from here height would be one two three four so i'll pass here height is equal to four comma width would be two this is first second okay i'll pass here to close the bracket at the end so you can see same data has been copied here okay so i will clear this now i believe you are familiar with all the parameters and how the referencing works in the offset formula okay now we will go into examples. So in the next set, I have created a data here. This is all the months and this is monthly sales. Okay. So I have filled till June. 
so I'm putting here for July let's suppose 3500 August 2600 and rest I'm putting zero okay now here once we will select month then it should calculate total sales from January till the given month okay so first of all I will create a drop down list here so select the cell then go to data tab in data tools click on data validation here we will select list now I will pass this range click okay now you can see we have a drop down list here now here we will pass the formula and also in this we will be using match function so if you don't know match function so you can go to my youtube channel skillsphere here i have a video index match okay so in that i have explained how to use index how to use match function okay so let me give you the brief idea what match do exactly so match will return numeric value basically so here we will write the formula is equal to match lookup value this is the lookup value okay comma lookup array this would be the lookup array we'll press f4 to fix the range comma for exact match we will use zero close the bracket hit the enter so it is returning one okay let's suppose we are passing june so it is returning six so it is on sixth number june first second third fourth fifth and sixth so we will be using match function in offset formula okay so here we have to do some of the sales so first we will write formula here that is sum okay now here inside sum we will be using offset formula so offset reference it is asking for reference we have to do sum of sales so i'm passing here sales as an initial reference comma rows so row would be the same rows that is zero row. comma column column will start from here from january so it would be one comma height height would be same one comma width here we will use match function match lookup value so lookup value would be month comma lookup array lookup array would be this january to december we will press f4 to fix the range comma exact match and then we'll close the bracket for match then we'll close the bracket for offset and then for sum and we will hit the enter so now you can see here it has calculated the sum starting from january till june so if you select all this till june you can see 20096 here also this is 20096 okay now if we change the month so let's see it works automatically or not suppose we have to calculate sum for three months january to march so you can see here for three months 11531 you can see here in the bottom side the sum so it is working fine okay so i believe you understand how offset formula works now the finally we will move to a small project so i will provide this excel sheet in the description you can download sample file and you can do the practice for that okay so here we have the sales data in that we have date month and year category quantity and sales so we can see here from 1st january 2021 till 31st of december 2023 okay so in this we will be using few more formulas along with offset so we will be using match functions also we will create drop down list okay so let's do that i have given a name for this table master data you can see here in the top corner now this is the project basically so this is the content that we have to look into so first i'm going to retrieve month and year okay so for that we will be using unique formula unique array here we will pass the array master data column from which column we need unique values from month and year close the bracket now you can see here we have all the months from january 2021 till december 2023 now we have to find out the total quantity so how we will retrieve from master data here we will use is equal to sum if range so we have to pass the range so here we will write master data range would be month and year comma criteria so criteria would be this month and year comma sum range so that would be master data and we have to do the sum of quantity close the bracket hit the enter so in january we have total 58 quantity so if we go into the master data here we can see january 31st january yes we have 58 now just simply double click here you can see all the sum we got now we have to find out the total sales so is equal to sum if range would be master data month and year comma criteria would be same a2 comma sum range would be master data sales close the bracket so this is total sales just simply 
double click here in the corner it will calculate for all the months now what exactly we have to do here first we will create certain drop down list and then we will calculate the sum here so for drop down list select the cell go to data tab data validation list here we will pass this and we will write here hashtag just click ok now you can see all the data has been retrieved here as a list so just simply for second one we will do the control d so it will duplicate the same you can see here both the drop down list has been created now we have to calculate total months so first here we will calculate number of the given month match lookup value would be this january 21 we will fix this by pressing f4 comma lookup array so lookup array would be this press f4 to fix this and then has comma it should be exact match close the bracket hit same we will do for this select this and drag here there would be one modification here so it would be cell number h4 okay hit then so here in this list january 2021 is at number one and this is at number three so here we will calculate number of months so we'll write here is equal to this minus this one and we will add one because we will be calculating from the start month. plus now you can see here this total two months if we change here if we calculate till march so it would be january february and march three months so here let's suppose if uh, start date would be for the letter so it is coming minus four okay so in that case we have to put certain condition for that so let's write the condition first so here if this one is greater than this one comma then this will perform this task else it will give the message select valid bridge close the bracket so let's suppose if we do certain error so it will give you select valid bridge. okay so always a start month would be the lower side and the end month would be on the higher side so from july 2021 to november 2021 it is total five months now we have to calculate the total sales so how to do that here we will be using offset formula is equal to offset reference so starting reference would be sales will press f4 to fix this comma row number so a starting row would be this one we'll fix this by pressing f4 comma column would be zero same column because we have to calculate in the same column comma height height would be this one total month we'll press f4 to fix this comma width would be width it is one only because we have to calculate in the same column we'll close the bracket and hit the end here it will give you the complete range all five months because we have to do some so we'll do it later on so you can see here this is providing all five months data here okay now we have to do the sum of all this so what we will do here we will do sum okay now if this produces any kind of error in that case it will the cell should be blank so here we will put one another formula that is if error so if this is producing any kind of error then it should not print anything in the cell okay now we will hit the enter so you can see from july 2021 till november 2021 total month is 5 and total sales is 1,95,283 so let's see is it correct or not so from july till november 1,95,283 so this is correct for quantity we will do the same is equal to if error then the second formula would be sum and then we'll use offset reference would be quantity we'll fix this by pressing up four comma a starting row would be this one comma we'll fix this by pressing up four comma column would be zero height would be this month we'll press f4 to fix this comma width would be one close the bracket again close the bracket for some comma if there is any error so it should not print anything so we'll pass blank close the bracket the enter so from july 2021 till november the total quantity is 300 so it is producing the same now we will do certain formatting here so here total months is equal to so is equal to showing five so what we will do select this cell press ctrl one we'll go to the custom formatting here we will pass month in bracket as okay so it will show like this so suppose if we change so total six months here it is five months four months okay now we'll do one conditional formatting here as well so select this cell click here go to manage rule first new rule if this contains a specific text containing select valid range then our text color is red it will be bold okay okay now again we will click on new rules format only 
cells that contain a specific text containing here we need to select not containing select palette range then we will format the cell select the color green we'll make it bold click ok ok apply ok now this we don't need we will put the text color white here we can merge it and we can write here a report you can fill in this we can increase the text so this is the report that we have okay so as per the requirement select the months and accordingly we can calculate total sales and the total quantity so in this video we have covered basic of offset formula we have gone through first example then we have worked on a small project so in this video we have learned how to use offset function how to use match function also we understand the unique function we have used has also we understood how to create drop down list using data validation and i have given this file in the description so you can download this file and you can practice so if this video is informative so don't forget to like subscribe and share my channel i will be coming with the more interesting videos thank you for watching